Welcome everybody to our first interaction day for the energy course. I hope that you've had the chance to look at the lessons in the Kajabi course. It takes a little while to get used to how the files are handled in there. I want you to see this as your little archive where you can find some of the lessons, some of the tasking, and also some of the self-assessments. All right, so the coursework, the one-thirds of the part of this course is just there for you to tune yourself in and to discover and self-study, maybe even practice some of these energy sessions that we're doing on Saturdays together. Now, whether or not you've already done some of these sessions as part of the Heart Warrior Awareness Training, doesn't actually matter because the way they're being done here in this format is unique. We're going to go through three layers of the same level of existence back to back. Three energy sessions back to back. And now you might ask yourself, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to lay down for three hours and not do anything? No, far from it. I want to encourage you to, yes, be consciously aware during this time. Obviously, there are guided energy sessions, which means you have an MP3 to listen to. But I want to encourage you to do other things, maybe things that do not require your immediate sort of mental capacity. You know, something like maybe washing the dishes or taking a walk in nature or just sort of hanging out in your favorite chair. These are the kinds of walking meditations that I often recommend because they allow us to integrate energy awareness into our daily activities. Now, I do ask you to take notes or to reflect on what comes forward to you. My tip of doing this is to always have a pen and paper ready and just write down or doodle whatever comes into your mind or what basically jumps into your attention. So please don't see this as a test or anything that has to do with performance. This is about you learning how to tune into your unconscious and how to bridge this, how to mediate this, how to learn to listen to your inner signals. And our first training day yeah, has the headline of discovery. And here we are going to systematically learn to tune into the different layers of our senses. The actual physical sensing, which is supposed to help you to just simply become aware of your body and what your body is signaling to you as you are having thoughts or emotions or a certain imagery come forward. This will continue throughout all six modules because at the end of the day, we will always need to pay attention to how our body reflects things back to us. And then the second session, we tune into the feeling part. And don't get this confused. Feelings and emotions are not the same. Now, emotions can be part of our feeling, but feeling is more so the overall feeling about something yeah how am i feeling today how am i feeling right now this is not just your emotions there's so much more to you and it's not your thoughts either which is hopefully the insight that you gain from this experience and then the third session is about perception and here you're being asked to put two and two together how do the signals that come through my body align with my feelings, which can be composed of my thoughts, my attitudes, my approaches, and my emotions? How do they align with another? And 
how am I perceiving my reality as a consequence or a result of that composition? As an example, you probably all know this. When you're really, really angry at something, like say you're frustrated because something that you've worked for really hard didn't work out the way you wanted it, and you were super frustrated and maybe there was a person or a thing or whatever responsible for that and you were focusing on your anger to that person or, you know, that failure. It's really, really difficult to experience gratitude or to experience like a lightness or even love for yourself or the things that you do. Just like how it's really, really difficult to imagine what it's like in the summertime when it's deep, deep winter where you're at. Yeah, just how it's difficult for me to imagine what it would be like to be in snow right now. Yeah, living here in Florida at 25, 30 degrees Celsius every day. Yeah, so these things show us that our perception is selective to a certain degree and that if we are not really aware of what shapes our perception, yeah, so I can contextualize my perception of temperature and weather and so forth based on the understanding that Florida has subtropical climate and that it's just not the type of climate where you experience snow. With our inner worlds it's a little more complex. It is aware to me that when I am frustrated, it's very difficult for me to feel expansive or courageous. You know, when I am sad, it's very difficult for me to experience or to imagine myself being happy. When I experience lack, it's really, really hard for me to imagine myself having enough, more than enough, and um, being able to do things that I can't afford right now. You see the point, right? So for us to develop a higher level of perception, we first have to become aware of the different components that our reality here, yeah, and with it the way we perceive reality, is composed of. And in the webinar, the training webinar, the main event after like a 15 minute break, we'll talk about our insights and what came forward for us and how we can reframe this, how we can form a more active and more conscious attitude toward ourselves through these inner experiences. And the cool thing about all this is that I'm going to be in the energy sessions with you, meaning I read out your energy and I can reflect things back to you as for uh, how I have observed them live in the sessions that we did prior to the webinar. And this is a really, really cool format. The way this is going to go with the energy sessions is that I'll ping you guys on Skype yeah, so five minutes prior to session, I say, hey, um, you know, how are you? And then I post the SoundCloud link for the MP3, so it's easier for you maybe to listen to the guided energy process on your phone. And then I signal to you when the session starts and when it ends. Yeah, and then the same for the next and the next. Yeah, so I try to keep it as simple as possible for you t technologically. Yeah, I'll send the link for the webinar in the Skype thread when it's time to move on so that you can just easily, you know, push some buttons on your phone or on your computer. Yeah, so I hope that this prepares you a little for tomorrow and that, you know, some of your questions are answered if you have any other questions about the tech stuff or timing or whatever, then please text your questions in the Skype thread for everybody to see just so that I don't have to answer the same questions 
multiple times. Yeah, I am excited. I am looking forward to doing the sessions with you tomorrow and to see you in the webinar. Do not hesitate to turn on your video during the webinar. There is so much in seeing each other's faces and yeah, it just makes the whole experience even more intimate, I want to say, because as a group of four people, we are coming together to share some of the deepest thoughts and insights that we normally don't share with another. Don't be afraid of this. This is the add-on yeah, to this kind of training format that we actually learn with another and from another. I'm excited. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.